Why does it rain? When water droplets fall from the sky, we call it rain. But why does it rain? Well, rain happens because of the water cycle. The water cycle? What's that? Here's how the water cycle works. The sun heats a body of water, like the ocean. The water evaporates, or turns into steam or vapor, and then travels up into the sky. Then the water vapors become cooler and come together, collecting in clouds. It's called condensation. Here's an example of condensation. When you pour a glass of cold water on a hot day, you'll notice that water forms on the outside of the glass. The water on the outside of the glass came from the air. Water vapor in the air turns back into a liquid when it touches the cold glass. That's condensation. If there's enough water in the clouds, the water will fall to the earth. We call it precipitation. Precipitation happens when there is so much water packed together that the air can't hold it anymore. The clouds get heavy and water falls back to the earth as rain, hail, sleet, or snow. Some of the rain will collect in the ground to begin the water cycle all over again. I'm going to write that down in my journal. Rain happens because of the water cycle. Got it. Clouds. Can you tell us more about clouds? Like, do all clouds carry rain? I was wondering the same thing. Excellent question. Here's the answer. A cloud is made up of very tiny droplets of water or ice crystals. The droplets are so small and light that they can float in the air. Clouds float in the Earth's atmosphere. There are different kinds of clouds. Some clouds, called cumulus clouds, are puffy white and appear in the sky on bright, sunshiny days. These clouds are white because they reflect the light of the sun. They are not rain clouds. Then there are rain clouds. Rain clouds are caused by the buildup of water droplets or solid ice crystals. If these clouds get very thick or high in the sky, sunlight doesn't make it through. That's why rain clouds are gray.